Item number SCP-1656. Index, Jealous Limbs. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. As its mechanism and method of activation are unknown, SCP-1656 is presently uncontained. Instances of SCP-1656-1 are to be contained in standard 1 meter by 1 meter by 1 meter holding cells at Sector 28. Once per day, instances of SCP-1656-1 are to be provided with intravenous fluids and total nutrient admixture. Description SCP-1656 is an idiopathic phenomenon affecting the upper limbs of adult human subjects. The progression of SCP-1656 occurs in several distinct phases. Stage 1. Subjects affected by SCP-1656, hereafter referred to as parent instances, begin to experience muscle tremors, reduced circulation, and dulled sensation in the affected limb. During this stage, parent instances experience significant alterations in their memory, universally reporting that the affected limb was amputated at a young age. When questioned about the limb's presence, parent instances claim it is a former acquaintance. Parent instances have declined to elaborate. Stage 2. Stage 2 is characterized by periods of complete loss of voluntary motor control over the affected limb. These periods will increase in frequency until the affected limb gains complete autonomy and is designated an instance of SCP-1656-1. SCP-1656-1 instances are sapient and, during periods of autonomy, will constantly attempt written communication with their parent instance. Despite all attempts by SCP-1656-1, patient instances will ignore these communications. Recovered communications invariably focus on feelings of rejection and romantic neglect on the part of the parent instance towards SCP-1656-1. After several days, communications begin to focus on an infatuation of SCP-1656-1 with an unidentified male individual. While descriptions of this individual vary, instances of SCP-1656-1 report its reciprocation after 12 to 14 days and state their intent to end their relationship with their parent instance. This period marks the transition into Stage 3. Stage 3. SCP-1656-1 will cleanly separate itself from its parent instance at the shoulder. This has no deleterious effect on either the parent instance or SCP-1656-1 leaving behind what appears to be a fully healed stump at the site of cleavage. SCP-1656-1 is capable of locomotion and, following its separation, will attempt to flee to an unobserved area. If visual observation is interrupted or lost, SCP-1656-1 will disappear to an unknown location. See addendum SCP-1656-A. GPS monitoring systems placed on instances of SCP-1656-1 prior to separation abruptly cut off after visual observation of the instance is lost. Addendum SCP-1656-A On 12-04-20, all GPS trackers previously used to monitor instances of SCP-1656-1 spontaneously reactivated. Foundation agents tracked the signal to a warehouse in... A search of the warehouse revealed deceased instances of SCP-1656-1, many in an advanced state of decay, as well as large amounts of graffiti consistent with SCP-1656-1 communications. See addendum SCP-1656-B. Further investigation revealed signs of recent habitation by a human individual. Forensic analysis is ongoing. Addendum SCP-1656-B. Samples of recovered communications. I was wrong. Please take me back. He lied. You were the one. I still love you.